It's your returning champion, Elge Intensity, aka Sir Traps a Lot. It gets worse. Are those minus signs? They'd better be. One by one deadlift is the uh, the work. We're gonna treat it as a rare footage single. of a CrossFitter using uh, something other than a cease and desist to shut someone up. Uh, Courtney's got a 360. Is that right? Except so her 360 gets a different kind of red light. Something pretty heavy, and then PC the Master Race. We'll probably um, try and get a new one rep max. It's time for another good idea, bad idea. Good idea. A couple things we're looking for, for here on Courtney. Four things First that you're gonna for, for, gonna for, forget so about when she lifts. Possible. Now with beginners, we'll have them walk. So walk right up to it and put your shins on it. With beginners, we'll have them put their shins on the bar because invariably when they when they reach for it, the bar will push forward a little bit. You'll so then proceed to tell these beginners to deadlift forward, repeatedly for time. People, ideally, we're gonna get because that's not butt fuckingly retarded or anything. As the bar off the ground, the shins are gonna go to vertical. Um, as the lower back the goes straight to hell. Keep that bar as close to the body as possible the whole way up. The lever arm becomes smaller when we keep the bar close to the body. I'm actually your science have has no power before. here. So next cue we're gonna give is chest up as high as you can get it. Good. So we're looking for a neutral spine. As neutral a neutral spine in a CrossFit gym. Go you mean the, the lost city of L5 spine. Dorado? Pull the chest up as high as she can, and then I literally want that barbell on her shins the entire way up. So bring then it up her shins the and then drop it. Actually shove her Wouldn't take as much. As quickly as possible. So give me that speed past the knees. Yeah, there you go. So when she pulls the bar to her knees, if she can get her hips there as quick as possible, hip the drive. Come up quicker and the lever runs a lot shorter. So we don't have a fulcrum that's way out in front, and all of a sudden we're putting all sorts of torque on the spine. Will you shut up? I want to see her fuck up these cues like a shitty pool so player. I want, just like a low bar back squat, I want all weight back, back, back as far as she can get it. So that's one cue a CrossFitter never forgets. Yeah, Put good. the weight in the so back. We want that posterior chain firing. Why? Because. If she comes out here on her toes and she starts to she starts to lean forward, then this becomes a back lift, and this is not. You know a back what comes lift, next, right? Bad idea. I'd like to see those hands in closer, but that's the cleanest turd in this cesspool. And this becomes a back lift. Oh hey, I found one of these experiences. All right, all in the back. It's all in the back. Way to go. CrossFit HQ greenlit another steaming pile of coaching from the same coach. Right in the pussy. That's a hitch, so I'm gonna have to give that one a big fat motherfucking zero. He needs to cover that kid's eyes. I'm covering mine. Zero. Deadlift like a cat, break your motherfucking back. Zero. Careful, don't pop the plates, you might let the air out. You know what we're gonna do next week? The same thing we do every week. Stop CrossFit from trying to take over the world. The end. Zero! Like the video and subscribe to the channel, now.